Hello, and welcome to the video tutorial of Afflux. I am going to walk you through the steps required to play the game. The first thing to understand about this game is that it is a physics game based on directing and redirecting wind. The goal of the game is to help the flux into the pot, which is somewhere in the level. In this level, there are no wind sources already on the playfield, so if you hit play, the flux will merely fall onto the ground. Therefore, you need to get a wind source from the inventory. To open the inventory, merely hover over the inventory tab in the upper right hand corner of the screen and your inventory will pop out. The inventory holds all of the shapes that can be used to solve the level and also holds the shape par indicator. The shape par listed in the shape par indicator is the number of shapes from your inventory that you should be able to solve the puzzle in. Aim for this number of inventory shapes or lower than this number of inventory shapes to increase your score. To take objects out of your inventory, simply click and drag them onto the playfield. Most objects are simply obstacles that can be used to deflect wind or the flux themselves. But there are also fans, horns, and jet engines, which are occasionally in your inventory, that themselves produce wind. To solve this level, we will need to pull this fan onto the marked spot. Then grab the rotation handle to rotate the fan into place as instructed. Past the tutorial levels, you will be required to figure out placement of shapes on your own. Now, if you run the simulation, the flux will be blown across the room. But wait, they will simply get blown straight onto the Angry Kitty. A very bad thing to do indeed. To prevent this, you must drag obstacles out of your inventory and put them in the way on this line. That will prevent the flux from blowing that far. Other important concepts to be aware of for future levels include bouncing wind off of obstacles and carefully positioning wind generators to use them at peak efficiency. I hope you will now be able to better play the game. Have fun, and good luck getting through the House of Horrors.